In the context of thousands of people being killed, of 1.9 million people being displaced, of 100 journalists being killed, of all these numbers, you know, it's, a, it's an absurd thing that, what, an actor sticking up his hands with some writing on it is brave? That says a lot about our world. You know, a lot of people have seen, or might have seen, the most horrific footage, or some of the kind of horrific footage, you know, the, the father with the bag, yeah. you know, with his child in it. Right. But actually you discover that there are whole other genres of footage that aren't the most sensational, but that are perhaps as devastating. You know, the child uh, who's in hospital waking up to a world in which their entire family has been obliterated. <sighs> there are the thousands who have survived. Right? Yeah. Who are of for whom this is their future, yeah. for whom this is the beginning of their childhood experience. And sadly, they're not the first generation of this. You could go back 75 years and repeat it again and again, but you could also, you could also go back the 17 years of siege and the war, you know, the four, five wars that there have been up until now. And that's what's so hard about this. Um, how do you hold that space? Because that's the only space in which you can hold on to your humanity, a shared humanity, in which there can be the beginning of a starting point for an actual conversation with someone who does not share your background or your specific grief. Because if you disavow someone's grief, there's no starting point, right? 